Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about one of the dangers of having glucose in your urine. So let's say, for example, you have a glucose tester and you find uh, glucose in the urine. That means that your blood sugars, the glucose in your blood, is minimally at 225 okay, or more. And it's spilling off into the urine. So this is one of the ways that the body is trying to get rid of this toxic glucose okay, by just peeing it out. It's called osmotic diuresis. And the complication of having this is that it pulls out minerals, specifically potassium, sodium, chloride, and other minerals. And it leaves you dehydrated. Okay, That's what happens with a diabetic. And not having the correct mineral and fluid ratio uh, gives you a headache. You can start having fatigue, confusion. Uh, your nails become purple. That's one of the symptoms. And a lot of heart problems arrhythmia problems because you need these electrolytes to keep the heart in rhythm. And so it, it sets you up for increasing risk for having a heart attack. Now, on top of that, usually a diabetic has high blood pressure and they're taking diuretics, which also pull out these electrolytes. And many times they also have digestive issues. They might be on some antiacid, which also blocks the absorption of minerals from the stomach level. So we're gonna actually have even less minerals. And if they're drinking a lot of water, Without these minerals, they're flushing out more minerals. They're actually diluting the urine. You have to understand that we need these minerals um, to help reverse the blood sugar problem in the first place. In fact, if you take potassium, it actually can help your blood sugars improve. Also, one of the symptoms of a low salt diet is insulin resistance. So having these minerals with salt and potassium and magnesium are crucial in helping your blood sugars. So if you're noticing you have glucose in the urine, now you understand what's really happening. So don't just stop by taking these minerals to prevent dehydration symptoms. Actually fix the reason why it's occurring in the first place. So I'm gonna recommend two things. For those of you that are new to my channel, healthy ketosis and intermittent fasting. I'll put a link down below for more information. All right, check it out. Hey, I just wanted to mention something real quick. Um, a lot of you have questions about all sorts of things in the body. Um, chances are I have a video on that already. So what I did is I created a document based on categories and you can click the link down below to get this document. So it'll help you find and understand the specific information that you're looking for. I think I have over 3,500 videos. So click the link down below. So if you need it, it's there for you.